Good afternoon, this is Ryan Hunt with MFMP and Hunt Utilities Group in Pine River, Minnesota, and I'm setting up for the echo test and the aura test that will happen in May and June coming up here. Uh, the both devices require the same sort of testing. We're going to meter the power in uh, electrically and we're going to measure the power out thermally. To measure the power out, we're going to have uh, the flow meter. We're going to measure the amount of water and how much uh, it manages to raise the temperature of the water. And for every measurement, we're hoping to have two, a plan B and a plan C, in some cases a plan D, so that uh, even if parts of it fail or if they don't work as intended, there's backup plan that's simpler, more robust, and we'll double check the fancy instrumentation. Our goal, of course, is to stream everything live. And the uh, star data acquisition system is the LabJack T7 Pro, uh, which has been used previously by MFMP during the glow stick tests. And uh, we have the expansion board on here. We've got the current shunts for the 420 milliamp inputs. And uh, we have power source for the various instruments. So we got the plus 12 volts. That's provided by this brick here at 12 volts at 6 amps. We have ground connections for everything that comes in. All the grounds go here and then they get or the main point of ground is right here. That's where the ground comes into it. Uh, over here is the calorimetry section. The temperatures are measured by these little platinum uh, PT100 type RTDs and those send the 4 to 20 milliamp signals to the lab jack. So we have the input side here and the output side here. We got a backup temperature readings from these big, uh, very photogenic bad boys here that will be telling us on camera, double checking our measurements. And it doesn't require electricity to operate, so that's a nice backup. In addition, we'll be looking at this with uh, the thermal camera so we can get an idea if, if there's any anomalies or anything that could be throwing off our readings. Uh, we also, on the input side then, we'll talk about how we measure the flow. The flow comes in through a filter and then through this cute little meter here that uh, has a very fine little turbine. And so the water meter or the filter is just to help keep that nice and clean and happy. Then it'll go through here. We'll be able to inspect it to see if there's bubbles happening or if there's, there shouldn't be any contamination or visual uh, cloudiness or anything at that point, it should be, that should be removed by the filter. Uh, but the, we can see if there's bubbles, because bubbles going through the flow meter could throw it off. And then it'll flow through the device in between here and here. And what, then this is the same thing, but because the um, hot water will be hot enough that the plastic tube here would melt. I had to put a piece of uh, metal tube in here. And then we have a check valve just to keep sure, keep and make sure that there's a little bit of back, back pressure and that this won't just drain empty. Then, as a backup for the flow meter, we have this very pretty little scale here. In this scale, it's an Arlen made scale, capacity of 100 pounds with a one thousandth of a pound resolution, or about half a gram. If we zero that out, and if I stop moving near it, we can do this cute test here. Take a dime, and it weighs about two grams. If I slide it to the corner, it weighs about two grams. And on that corner, Two grams. Same thing here. And same thing here. So we're going to use this device. We're going to have a bucket on it. And we're going to run the water out of the device uh, into the bucket and we'll have uh, the readings logged automatically because it has a 4 to 20 milliamp output that the lab jack will be logging. And we'll be able to see the rate of mass increase over time and that way we'll have the mass flow rate at any point to double check our cute little flow meter. 
when the bucket gets full, of course, we'll dump it out, put it back on there, and we'll be able to see it rise up again. So it'll be kind of this sawtooth, up, empty the bucket, up, fill up, empty the bucket. And uh, our plan C for that, for the flow rating, reading is if this scale dies, we'll have a simpler scale, very inexpensive scale. It won't offer us the same resolution, uh, but it'll still give us a total flow rate over a given amount of time. And uh, if that doesn't work, at least we'll have buckets with marks on them, so we will know how much uh, mass it is by the time that bucket fills up, and then we can dump it. And that is it. And oh yeah, right here we got one simple little Geiger counter, and that's going to be added to the analog input when I get my ex instrument extension wires. And then we will have also the power metering, which I do not have those devices and won't be able to okay. test okay. those until we get there. Uh, and we will have the radiation detector detectors. I'm getting a couple of those that will arrive soon, and we'll get them hooked up, and I'll keep you updated then. Thanks.